Hello everyone, Flydutch here, welcome back to Russia! Let's unpause the game, we are at war with Uzbek and the Krim. Going to annex the Krim. Also annex uh, Uzbek land, so maybe we have to actually feed the Crimean land to... Well, I guess Kiev, because that's the only one that's bordering it. Because we need to core this land here. Uh, oh, we lost an advisor. They've gained the Defender of Fate against Ayam. Oh yeah, because we are bordering. Uh, do we have a cheap one? We don't really have a cheap one over here. Hmm. Now, since we need to make more money, I think I'm just going to go with level 1 for now. Yeah. Hey, the colony is ready in Yeniseisk. Gonna state it. Means that we can core it. And we can colonize more stuff. So, is that an important center? No. Now all the trade over here is going to Samarkand, so it will not go to us, but it goes to Astrakhan here, and Astrakhan we steer towards us already. So it is actually not too terrible. We really need to take this land from the, the Golden Horde, so we can steer it to Kazan, and then to Novgorod. And we need more merchants. Okay, um, let's colonize what we can now. We can colonize this one. And that's it. Yeah. And now we see this one over here. Irkutsk. I think this is Lake Irkutsk. I wonder how many people live there. I don't think there are a lot of people living there. <laughs> and we are going to keep conquering over here. Now how, for, how much points can we keep in... in okay, we can have a decent amount. I really don't... I'm not going to wait until I can... Get the institution, so maybe we should just go and complete quantity ideas. Yeah, gonna do it. Minus 10% land attrition. Not only that, we completed quantity ideas, so we have more land force limit, and we can now do Field Priest and Soldier Prayers books, and we will pick that one. Uh, it's the f oh, wait, policies. Here. 10% more morale. We also want this one. It's a free policy, so why not pick it, right? Very, very nice. What is our morale right now? 5.27. That's okay. That's not bad at all, actually. They are blocking the rest of it over here. Can I quickly take these ones? No, I cannot take that one. We need to get the Grim first. It's going to take a long time because I didn't have a claim on it, so... I can click the button in three years. Maybe we should have to, maybe we should just peace out when we can over here. Eighty seven percent. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna peace out. What is the overextension? Sixty eight percent. We have thirty six. That's a bit too much, isn't it? I can go over for a little while. Yeah, I'm just going to go over the limit for a little while. Just take everything. Uh, yeah, overextension is very high. Just over the limit. And let's score everything. Oh. Without corruption. And the quicker... The quicker we can convert it, the better. Is there any supply here anywhere? Oh, there's a bit over here. Let's put the armies there then. Russia is strong. So what are we going to do with Kiev? Or with uh, this land, we will feed it to Kiev. We have no other option, I think. I think we have to do it. And yeah, the Streltsy thing is still a thing there. Right. Now the question is, when do we have to start annexing Norway? I think I'm going to annex Norway next. So 
I can claim Scotland myself, so there's no big deal over there. Uh, Sweden, we can still give more land. We are integrating Polotsk, and yeah, no guy is still unhappy, so we can't do it. Yeah, and Chernigov, we have to annex Chernigov as well at some point. Let's start with Norway. Yeah, we can't see that right now because we are at war. So we have to wait a bit longer. Gonna feed this to Kiev. I will take it for myself and then feed it to him. Hey, Obdorsk is ready, Triotsky, this one and this one. Which means we can colonize here now. Small one, Siam. And that's it. Yeah, I can't convert my own lands yet, so we have to wait. I guess we have huge revolts. Yes, West Tutunguska. We can now do you. And that's it. Yeah. The Great Horde is going to take a while. Uh, Denmark is in is in three years. What are we gonna take next? I mean, I can already tell everyone what I want here. At least all of this. Yeah, the Ottomans don't care about it, so. Uh, yeah, we can go to war of Ayama, I, I guess. Uh, who, who do we have the CB on? You can't see that right now. That's stupid. On all infidels. Yeah, but who are the infidels I can declare war on? They don't show it there. I mean, we are only bordering vassals over here, except for this chunk. But we have a truce with this. We have the Ottomans as our ally. Truce. Vassal. Then we have you. We could go to War of Transoxiana. Do we have a CB? Holy War. And give no guy more land. Maybe we have to do that one. And the Ottomans, are you finally having... Oh, they have no money. They have no money. Let's pick that one. How much loans do I need to pick for... <sighs> so much loans. I'm gonna lower my maintenance. I think we don't have to fight anymore. I don't think Crimea has any armies, no. Maybe we'll be at peace for a while. Yeah, I think so. I think we will be at peace for a while. Which is not what I like to do, but um, I don't see any good targets. Yeah, only over here. And Shagatai. Komi is ready. Oh, that was somewhere in the middle, I guess. 
Yeah, we are gonna get these rebels, so we can't lower the maintenance. It's impossible. Maybe you should just go and protect trade, even when I'm at war. There we go, that's the first one, kill. Kasi Kumbuk is coming. Yeah, we have army ready. And Kwasim. Get wrecked. And get wrecked. And those are the, the only big ones, so I think we are okay. Where do I have the most supply? Ah, go there, I guess. Version successful. Let's finish off Norway. Because we want to uh, integrate him. Are we are finally going to siege this down? It's taking forever. And the penalty is so high. Yeah, we really can only attack Ayam, Transoxiana, and Shakatai and the Oirat. But we do not have the claims on the Oirat yet, which is very annoying. We need to get that part of Oirat Horde and then we get... Oh, nothing else, I guess. Just some missionary strength that we don't need. Huh. No, that are the claims. We are not going to get more claims, I think. But maybe it's a good idea to uh, take lands from the Oirat. No one cares about him. So that could be in war as well. But first we need to finish this war. Come on. Yes. Consecrate, yeah, you can't do it, right? No, because he will no longer ex exist. Mm -hmm. We don't care about the coalition. No, we don't care. And we are going to do this. And I'm going to feed this to EF. Because we are over our over extension limit. We are still over it. Only with 4%. We have low crown land again. Yeah, you have to click the button. Is Moscow getting it soon? Yeah, it's getting there. I'm not gonna attack up before I have to. So Kiev is pretty big now. I don't think I want to make Kiev bigger than it is at this point. So we will give this to Chernigov and integrate Chernigov. And I could release uh, Galicia in that war. We can do a reconquest on Poland and make Galicia a thing here. I think that's what we are going to do. We have a missionary available. Let's convert. The Siberians. Kill them. Go sit in Crimea, I guess. There's a little bit of enough supply there. Go here, there's more supply. Don't get extra attrition. 
Uh, what I could do, since we are having so much problems, is start training something. Oh yeah, we have to be in our own land, if we want to do that. Oh, uh, yeah sure, let's take the marriage. Do we have all the marriages? Except for no guy that never wants to marry me because they are unhappy. They don't trust me. Oh, but we can make you more trustworthy. Because we have favors. Let's just keep uh, getting favors with him. It's the only thing we can do. Yeah, not click that button. The only thing we can do with uh, with favors on your vessels. You cannot ask for soldiers or money or whatever. So why not make them trustworthy? Tombov. Go. Yeah, some temporary rebels. Now let's see if I have to annex Finland right now. We have to, we finish in October 44. Oh, they don't like me enough. Really? No, not this event again. We don't do that. Did we convert all of Norway? No, not yet. Almost. And then we have to do some Sweden and my own territory. Oh, and the Faroe Islands. Yeah. That's true. Now go sit here, I guess, so we can start training. Almost happy. Oh, we don't have enough favors now. Uh, let's try to... Well, do we not have enough favors? No, we need 10. Hmm. Maybe next year he will be happy because those modifiers will go down. I think that's gonna happen. Uh, yeah, I think the next war will be with Denmark. Do you have claims? You do. Very good. All of Denmark will be mine. Okay. Maybe we can already tell what I want. I want the whole coastline. Surprise, surprise. Including Hamburg and Bremen. If we own this, we have so much trade power. We can make a lot of money in the Lübeck trade note. There's nothing I can convert at this point. Train. And train. So, now they are all training. And now you have to stop training because we have another revolt. Now we are almost out of our situation, that's good. 
And I think we will go to War of the Oirats next. How much more troops do you have? Oh, it's gonna be so easy. Yeah, just attack them with low morale. We will win anyway, and we have plenty of manpower. Who are these? The Bashkiran. It's still not in going in Moscow. So we can remove this edict here. And here as well. Keep it one uh, active in these two. Okay, you are happy enough. I think we need to start. I think we are already too late, so maybe we should do Chernigov instead. October 1544. And if I do this one. Way too late. I think we have to do Chernigov. Yep. We are going to annex Chernigov then. Nice. We have a lot of cores coming in. Our problem is over. Now we can start converting it. I think I'm just going to go to war with the Oirats immediately, question mark. What is their te technology? Yeah, we have one tech advantage. I think I will. Cannot colonize anything, right? The answer is no. When can we click this? Okay, let's be at peace for one year. Can we at peace for one year? We attack the Oirat and then Denmark. Well, maybe we have to attack Denmark earlier. Yeah, I think we have to. Maybe we can do something with our fleet. Yeah, we have to attack again. We, we cannot make money it we cannot make enough money at this point to I'm gonna wait until I can click the button then we go to war So hopefully Denmark will not make a coalition. If he does make a coalition, we have to uh, strike immediately. Maybe together with my vessels we can actually win the naval stuff here. I think we need to make some transports to we can get to Gotland. Level 2, yeah, we need 6,000. Let's just make 6 transports.
Hey, they want a marriage finally. Nice. So, not useful to do that one. More fur, but you're not getting any gold, unfortunately. Only Norway is not at 200, so let's improve a little bit with him. And I think I'm just gonna get the loan. No, we're gonna wait for Moscow. And then we will take what we need. Of course, when I state everything, this number became higher, didn't it? Yep, I should have waited that as well. There are so many things you need to take into account that you will always miss out on something. Uxpec has one province left. <laughs> it's December, can I click? The burgers will become unhappy. But I'm gonna click it anyway. Then we need one more click for the governing capacity. Okay, I think we are going to war. Uh, let's do the both wars at the same time. You first. Uh, did you certainly get those allies? I could not remember seeing this, but... Hmm, maybe we should go with you then. Yes. I'm gonna feed no guy some land over there. We are also going to do the war here against Denmark. Only Cleves will join. Conquest of... Koga. Let's wait for my diplomat to be at home. And I think we have to send that one over there and you can maybe go here. Actually, you need to piece out this guy first. Just move there. Is it in Moscow? One more month. No, let's not use the, lose the money. We don't need the Streltsy. We have so much money already. Percent. Now I'm gonna get it. There we go. And that means that we are having so much military points left. You have a lot of military points left. Maybe we have to start developing. Interesting. I think we eclipsed Austria as well. Yeah, we can now only rival the Ottomans. We are by far number one. We have 1300 development, they have 877. It is absolutely crazy. I'm gonna make no guy happy. And 
you're gonna go there, you're gonna go there. There's my other army of one, two. Oh yeah, you were doing stuff here. Yeah, when you are done, you're gonna go to Nogai in Transoxiana. Cottage industry. Oh yeah, this one again. For the base production. I always pick it because it is better for later in the game. Kill them. Oh yeah, I forgot about the navy. Oops. Uh, do we want a admiral? Maybe we should. He's horrible. We should definitely help here. Oh my god, they have so many... I think I just killed my whole fleet. Stay here, please. Before you lose everything. At least I can cross here. And fight the Danish army. Oh yeah, you are done. Uh, you are the one to go here, right? Yes. Poland insulted us. Oh, how terrible. Oh yeah, I see what's happening over there. I don't really care, but <laughs> I'm seeing it. I'm kill killing orthodox salads. Maybe you should not. Just saying. He is attacking the rebels. I will fight the winner. Take their capital down. He found pretender rebels, really? Why is this army stopping all the time? Let's get the war goal against Denmark before we don't get any war score. <laughs> they are moving here. <laughs> it's so annoying. <laughs> It's so annoying what the AI is doing. They are moving to Siberia. <laughs> oh my god, Denmark is always catching them when I'm not paying attention. And they escaped. I can't win this, I think. If I could just cross to Sjeland here. <gasps> yes, go. Yes, we are in his capital. Look what they are doing. <laughs> this just chased them down, I guess. <laughs> Poland will see this to Denmark. Oh, Denmark got Konigsberg. Really? You guys really need to go here now. Oh, there was other siege. Well, never mind. Maybe my vessels will take care of it. 
let's get all the forts from Transoxiana and let's make sure that we are going to try to catch these people. Austria declared war on Poland. I don't like that one single bit. He's gonna take my land. Trading in copper. We are so slow. We are finally here. Please don't stop moving, okay? Keep moving. To the place I ordered you to move. Can someone please kill these? Thank you very much. Oh, Munster. <laughs> they are just running away. <laughs> Look at those little rats everywhere. They're going to take so much land that, that I want. I have to attack Austria. Ugh. Can someone please take care of that army? They become frustrating. Hello, we have now 52 Strelsi. Let's, let's uh, kill half of them. But that is way too much. Oh, Denmark now goes here. How nice of you, Denmark. How nice. Stack wipe. And another one. We have their capital. This is fantastic. We can take military attack 12. I will wait. Not going to spend extra points. We cannot piece anyone out. No. Nope. Still have to show superiority CB. Winning battles will give us war score. Nope. The AI is doing so annoying. They are avoiding to, to, to help their whole country. They just... Yeah, I don't have any words for it anymore. It is horrible in my opinion. They are just here. Uh, we don't know what to do. Ew. Statesman died. We can gain 4 innovativeness and that will go away in 362 days. So maybe we should pick it for the innovativeness then. Let's go with the level 1 guy. Because we don't make enough money. I cannot start another annexation unfortunately. So we cannot annex another country. We can lose 2 inflation for 50. Uh, for 100. And normally it is 72. We have to start clicking this button. We have too much inflation. 
Uh, what are you doing? Go here. Yeah, we have to kill these particularists. Chosen council. We get a skill 2 that is 50% cheaper. And a skill 3 admin guy. Gonna pick you guys. Okay, we have finally the siege of Cleves. So Cleves, can you peace out? Thank you very much. Apparently, we need to take everything from him before he wants to say something. When you guys are done, we're gonna go here and we'll bring you to Gotland. And then hopefully we can peace out soon. Denmark. Cancel everything. I guess we will pillage your capital. Give me your body. Hey, Warabs, go away. We can repay one loan. Let's do this. Yeah, the little rats got Smolensk. Of course they do. Do you finally have money or what? They don't have any money. They have not any money. And now you're blocked, now you have to walk like this. Of course, that's exactly how it goes. The truce with the Great Horde is over in three years. Okay, and Poland. I wonder what's left of Poland, Lithuania. Austria is taking everything. I hate you. Oh my god, Austria is annexing Hungary. We can release Hungary and do a reconquest CB and take everything ourselves. Definitely gonna be a goal. Oh, I should take... Pick the siege ability, maybe. Oh well. These ones go on the boat. Let me go here. Okay, we have all your uh, force. Can we reach Afghanistan? Yes, let's just go and peace Afghanistan out, hopefully. Uh, how long do we have left? 76 days. Let's pick it. For innovativeness is, I think, worth it. We can't do that one. Um, definitely taking Sheyland. I think Colding as well. 
How expensive is Gotland? Jotland or whatever you call it. 15. Okay. I don't think we can piece these guys out anytime soon. Well guys, I have to end the episode. In the next one we will continue the war. Uh, we will feed all of this to Sweden. And... Uh, I don't know about Königsberg. Maybe we'll keep it for here now. We could release Teutonic Order and get all this the course of Teutonic Order, but I don't know yet. Let's see what I will do next episode. Thanks for watching guys, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.